Next, we'll discuss keywords and identifiers. Again, a very fundamental concept in all of programming. Every programming language has this concept, keywords and identifiers. Let's first discuss what keywords are, okay? So keywords, I'll summarize the entire thing. Uh, there is nothing much to understand. So keywords are uh, these reserved words by the compiler or interpreter, which as a programmer, you cannot use as your variable names or function names or class names. Okay, because if you do, there will be some conflict and your code will not run properly. That's the whole idea. I'll give you one example. So I'm assuming that you have done programming before in C. So if you remember over there, you used to write if statements like this, right? Some code, some code, right? Now imagine if by mistake, you create a variable by the name of if, the name of the variable is if, imagine in that scenario, this code will look like this. If, if is greater than 10, then do this. Now imagine uh, what will happen inside the compiler. So the compiler will start reading this code to convert it into machine code. And it will realize there is a if outside the bracket. And then there is one if inside the bracket as well. So it will get confused and it will throw an exception or an error and your code will not run properly. Hence, it's advised that as a programmer, it's your duty, it's your responsibility to not use these keywords, which are reserved by the compiler in your program as variable names, uh, class names or function names. That's the whole idea. In Python, there are around 30, 32 keywords. Uh, and to be honest, you don't have to memorize them. Okay. So you will commit mistakes. It's bound to happen, but you will learn. Okay. So there is no need to learn them by heart. You will automatically learn once you commit mistakes. Okay. So that's keyword. The next thing is, uh, so I'll simply write keywords are just to summarize keywords are reserved words by the compiler slash interpreter, which the programmer cannot use, right? Now let's talk about identifiers. So simply put identifiers are nothing but names given by a programmer in a specific program. Okay. So in a program, whatever name, whatever names are given by you, collectively we call them uh, identifiers. So variable names, function names, class names, collectively you call them identifiers. Okay. So I'll show you, uh, identifiers are names created by the programmer in a program. Right, simple, and um, basically they are variable names. These are also function names, and finally, if you do object-oriented programming, you will also understand that class names are also known as, or also called as, identifiers. Okay, uh, there are certain rules uh, which you have to follow while creating identifiers. I'll show you. Uh, Rules for creating identifiers are rules for creating, sorry for the spelling mistakes, identifiers, right? So the first rule is you cannot start with a digit. Digit cannot be used as the first character of a variable, variable name or function name. Okay. That is not allowed in Python. The second thing is, um, you can use only underscore as a special character. Other special characters are not allowed, right? And the third thing is keywords not equal to identifiers. I've already discussed this point. You cannot use keywords to be your identifiers because again, that will, that will confuse the program the compiler and it will throw an error. Okay. So I hope uh, things are clear. These are the three rules for setting identifiers in Python. Okay. So now that we are done with keywords and identifiers, let's move on to literals.